Hello everyone, welcome to another video. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm doing that, but okay. So, in today's video, I want to go back into... Remember that I'm using my chart as an um, example to how you can possibly, I guess, yeah, learn a little bit more about the deep things about astrology and its uh, components, but not so much into detail that it's like, oh, it's all just like <laughs> boring details and all that stuff. You know, you can always consult many sites like what this is all about. I kind of go a little deeper and I still kind of explain a little bit, but okay. But anyways, going straight into this one, I'm going to, I wanted to talk a little bit about what came to me, I was just like, came to my, it's like there's just sat, it just came to me, just like the wisdom, a voice, um, and I was like, huh, part of fortune, and I was just like, what, that just like, that's something I've never really gone into, and I looked it up, and then I was just like, okay, so we'll talk a little bit about part of fortune, but not particularly just part of fortune, but basically, you know how it ties into the whole story of life. At least from my experience, I wanted to share that with you. Um, the gifts um, I've, in my case, right? There are some videos that out there, if you look it up, Part of Fortune, you'll see how it is for you. But I'm going to go into detail, like how I see it connected to charts and why that's kind of the case. Okay, so I was looking into Part of Fortune and I realized that it's like, it's kind of like, um, it's where we have our hidden gifts. It came to me and I was just like, wow, okay. It's uh, many videos today are talking about people who are practicing, I guess you can say, the law of attraction or practicing how to be more connected to uh, purpose, abundance, and all those things. And starting to really understand that it's purpose in this form, in this life towards people always say before like the greater good and all that stuff but it's really yes that's true it's the greater good but it also is fulfilling a sort of like a chosen role like sometimes there's fate and then sometimes there's destiny but i think fate and destiny are those things that we think we have no control of it's not that it's not about control it's about what we chose in this life or what we choose every single time to head towards the direction we're going but what we do is the one that feels it's that's where we have the choices but the gifts behind them is how they're expressed and why they're expressed is that's what we get into how i feel is more connected to the part of fortune or rather direction uh you know purpose all that stuff so according to what i saw in my book here Part of fortune is, um, I like what is read here, it's, uh, okay. So the house that it's part of fortune is in indicates the area of life which you'll manifest success, health, abundance. So that to me, when it struck me, it was just like, oh, okay. So yeah, that's what a part of fortune is. But it's, to me, it felt more than just that. It's kind of like, it's like a sort of like a, it's like, when you read a book and you see the cover, I feel like that part of fortune is showing that. That's the, that's your cover, that's your cover of the book, that is your life, that is your experience in this form. Never, never actually disconnected from the whole tree. I call, I use the analogy of the tree because, you know, it's like the roots and the branches. That's our, those are our choices we make. However, the branches branch off, that's the life we choose to have but nonetheless the gifts are already there so and then the seventh sorry the signs that are that it is in the sign that the part of fortune is in shows talents and abilities and how they're expressed so naturally signs are how um so i don't want to go straight into this but i kind of want to go into how it it ties in with everything else here um as you can probably see here the part of fortune my part of fortune was in pisces 
And usually I saw that the Pisces thing, the one part of fortune is in Pisces, it's showing the world idealism, like what can be the greatest ideal, the greatest things. Like, in other words, spirituality or ultimate, not sacrifice, well, you can say sacrifice or ultimate giving, ultimate connection, ultimate being, purpose outside of oneself, really way beyond what the human mind typically, typical human actually goes through. Um, and being in Pisces, it's just, it's idealism, it's that faith-based thing, it's really about trusting. Um, and these, the house that it was in was for me, um, was in the ninth house. So that means like has to do a lot with business, foreign lands, uh, languages, ha, philosophy, uh, business ventures, uh, probably finance, all those kind of things. Anything to do with um, ninth house stuff, right? If we want to clarify the ninth house stuff, I'm actually going to go script, go back into my cheat sheets here, not cheat sheet, my cheat book, <laughs> and that the ninth house deals with okay, so religion, philosophy, the super conscious mind. So that means like it still ties in a lot with Piscean attributes, you can say. Um, long trips, laws or in-laws. So that philosophy thing in religion t ties a lot to like big mystic ventures as well, but at the same time, um, if we looked into further here. So dreams and visions, profound mental studies, philosophy, psychology, higher learning, science, religion, all those kind of things. Distant travel, like I said, their commerce, big business, imports, exports, uh, spiritual f church as a spiritual factor, not necessarily religion, it can be. Uh, uh, clergy, in-laws, grandchildren, intuition, ethics, public opinion in general, and the lessons we learn through living. So this is not just like your third house stuff. Third house is like information, you're just learning lessons, but this is like lessons of like life lessons. So um, it ties into the idealism of Pisces for me where I found, yeah, I did do a lot of like this kind of stuff. So basically what it's trying to show me is generally speaking, at least for my, for me, is that the part of fortune is the gifts I can show and connect with the world, that being sensitive, highly sensitive person, uh, HSP, yes, it's a, actually a clinical term, apparently. It's um, that it allows me to be sensitive to others in society, that's still ninth house stuff, uh, to be of service, that's very ninth house sort of Piscean sort of Sagittarius sort of thing. It's firehouse. But because water is there, it's like that mix of fire and water. Um, but with a direction and vision and aim for dreams. And because it's Piscean, it's more than just dreams. It's idealistic dreams. It's idealized dreams. The best of the best of the best. But it's not about the race. It's not about that. Um, so, and yeah, it made me realize, it's like, okay, I have done that before, but it was kind of an unconscious thing, right? When I was doing all those things, if we looked at Pisces and where it was, where we looked at this placement, we have to also look at, I would say I would do this the way that I do with the other planets. Well, the part of fortune is not a planet. It's like a point. It's like a mathematical point. But the point is I'm still going to do it and see where it goes because I feel like it has a connection to Neptune because Neptune rules uh, Pisces and because of that um, Neptune it has a Neptunian aspect to it so that means yes idealism illusions illusions so I was kind of in a way you can see unconscious about it I had all these dreams and idealisms and um, you know Neptune is about visions dreams idealism, like I said already, illusions, delusions, um, here you go, liquids, music, movies, stage and television, glamour, ideals, mystics, hunches, creative functions, 
things we take deeply for granted um, in life without questioning. So in other words, like passivity, uh, fog, petroleum mystery, say all those kind of things. Fragrances, second sight, love of poetry, oh poetry, okay. Color and dancing, jurisdiction, drug addiction, or drugs, alcoholism, hypochondria. So I was lost in that actually. I didn't realize that the gifts I had to bring that I could have been abundant if I had only realize what not really meant that to be of service to be of you know to be connected that's very much piscean and also neptunian but because sagittarius rules that sagittarius here adds a bit of fire to not just only the ninth house but the fire to the part of fortune so i would say that it's again it's still ninth house stuff so it's really connected 